Hi YouTube audience, uh, welcome to Rich's Methods. My name is Rich. Um, today we're going to replace a light indicator on your shifter for a 2001 Pontiac Grand Am. Uh, this will be good for a 2001 to a 2004 uh, GM vehicle. Um, most of them will be set up uh, in a similar manner. Um, all you're going to need are a pair of tweezers, um, a flathead screwdriver, um, and you're going to need a 194 light bulb. Uh, it's an accessory light. Uh, you can get that at any of your local parts, uh, auto parts stores. Uh, it costs me around 70 cents. And uh, if you have to purchase a pair of tweezers or screwdrivers or whatever you might need. So it might cost you a little bit more, but overall it's going to save you money. Um, also, try to set aside around 30 minutes of your time to complete the project. Uh, so let's go outside of the car and get started. Okay, so now we're out in the car and uh, we're going to place this bulb, it's a T194. We're going to stick that into the transmission, so let's get this started. Okay, so as you can see, it's an automatic transmission. Um, what happened actually, uh, this is in a 2001 Pontiac Grand Dam. Uh, it would be the same type of setup though that you would see in a 2001 to a 2004. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this plastic console. It's really simple actually, it just pops right off. What we're going to do first is we're going to remove the cup holder. As you can see, this comes right off. Just set that to the side. And then the actual piece itself, you can use your fingers to pop this up. Just be careful that you don't break any plastic. And there you go, you can see that's pretty simple to come off. And next, we're going to take this center piece off. And there's little clips on the side that I'll show you. We just bring the camera over here. As you can see, there's clips that are in here. They're located right here. They're right where the gray portions are. There's a gray line there. And also here, there's two clips. And they're on each side of the transmission console. Or transmission housing, this plastic piece. So there's four of them. One, and two. And then on the passenger side, three and four. And those will come off easily with like a flathead screwdriver, so I'm going to do that now. Alright, so again I'm going to remove these clips. There's one there and one here. Simply just take a flathead screwdriver, as you can see I have it right here, and you're going to be sticking it and wedging it in between and pop it off just a little bit so that it's actually off. I don't know if you can see but it's actually off the white clip right now. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Wedge underneath and just twist a little bit and there. You see how it's loosened up already? And do the same thing on the driver's side. Okay, now to get this driver's side clip down here on this side, you'll see that it's a little bit harder actually to do the driver's side than the passenger side due to um, the amount of vision you have and the amount of space you have to actually uh, wedge something in there. So I'm going to use is actually just a, pe a pair of uh, tweezers Real simple, you can get them at any hardware store or any, even if you went to like a pharmacy, you'd be able to find these pretty easily. Um, I'm just going to stick this in here on the one side and wedge it in, in between the black part of the housing and the gray clip that's actually uh, fixed onto the transmission housing. So this black part, I'm going to try to pull this away from the white portion here by sticking it in between and pushing outward. So pretty much I'm making a lever and I'm going to be moving it this way, moving the tweezers out towards the driver's side, and that helps you to pop it off. And I don't know if you saw it lifted up there a little bit. Do the same thing. This other side as well is very hard to see. This is in the front portion. I'm going to try to do the same thing. The tweezers seem to work the best for this because you can wedge in between the plastic. So what my problem was, is that this portion here, that's actually on the housing that we took off, was getting caught underneath this plastic housing here. So I actually took a screwdriver and wedged it and just pushed a little, pushed this plastic piece over so that this part could come off. The thing that you have to watch with this is that this plastic can easily crack or break. 
Um, because I had experience with this before, I knew kind of the limit that I could take it to. Still though, you're taking a chance. If that would break, you're gonna have to glue it on. That might be a little bit more work for you to do. Um, another option is actually take this whole piece off. This includes the cup holder, goes all the way back to your um, armrest. Uh, but that adds a little bit of extra time and I try to like, you know, cut out things you really don't need to do. Um, but if you feel a little bit better, maybe that'd be a better option for you to do. All right, so now that this is off, let's see what this light looks like underneath. Okay, you can see there's this plastic housing, plastic piece over top of everything. Looks like this comes off. Pretty easily. And you can see I can bend it up slightly. It just snaps right in. So I'm just gonna pull that out. And you can see the bulb underneath here. The bulb is located right here. It's this little gray silverish looking thing. You can see it's burned out because normally they wouldn't have this uh, they wouldn't have that silver hue. All right, so now to remove the bulb, it's simply just pull it out. And here's our busted bulb. You can kind of see how it has that silvery tinge. The new bulb, again, this is a T194 bulb. Uh, it was only 70 cents at the local Napa. You can see here the new bulb and the busted bulb is in my left hand, and my right hand is the new one. You can see very clearly that the new one is clear and the busted one or the burnt out one has like a black soot inside it. It makes it almost have a mirror finish. So we're gonna put this bulb into the housing and we should be good to go. It's actually pretty simple. So again, move it out of the way. Make sure that the prongs are lined up. It doesn't matter which direction you put it in as long as they are in position when you push it down. It doesn't matter if it's turned or which direction you put the light in with. Let me just zoom in on this area here. Just give you an idea what you're looking at. So here is the bulb that we just put in. Right there. Now we're gonna put this plastic piece, this yellow piece, back on. Make sure you line these grooves up with the grooves that are in the plastic housing. You can see them pretty clearly once you're actually doing it yourself. Just push it down and snap it into place. Usually I try to lift up on it a little bit to make sure it's latched. It's like there's one more piece that's still not latched. There we go. Now we're gonna try this out, see if the light works before I put everything back in. There you go. As you can see the light is lighting up very clearly in the housing and I think we're ready to put everything back together. Okay, so we're gonna try to put this piece back in. Remember this piece was sticking out a little bit. So you're gonna take a little bit of manipulating to get this in. Um, so you're gonna watch me as I struggle with it myself. Um, but then you'll get to a better idea when you're actually doing it yourself, um, how difficult this was. And it's actually not too difficult. I'm sorry to misspoke there a little bit. All right, so. I made sure that on the passenger side, the clips are underneath the plastic uh, housing. And now you can see on this side, I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver, take that, I'm going to wedge it in between. I'm just going to push a little bit on it, just so I can get that underneath. There we go, that's underneath now. Might take a little bit of force to push down. And wiggle it a little bit. You want to make sure that the clips, remember those clips on the passenger side? Let's see if I can zoom in on these again. These clips on the passenger side, make sure that they are in, um, in place so you can see the actual uh, white part sticking through. You can kind of see it in the camera there. Um, so yeah, just wiggle a little bit, push down. 
um, you'll get a feel for once you're doing it yourself. And then make sure everything is in place, you know, make sure nothing is coming loose, everything is in position. Now what I'm going to do next is again I'm going to turn the ignition on, uh, see if it actually turns on without... Alright, so you can see the light is on, uh, and we're in park here, which is up here at the top. Zoom back out again. So there now you can see nicely the transmission, park, drive, reverse, all the different gears. Um, the light, where the light is located, you'll see it's pretty bright up here at drive, but at least you can see um, in red is the parking, which is at the top here, top of your screen. Okay, right there. All right, now to put it in gear, I'm just going to turn it on. I'm just turning it on. You don't have to start the car to do this. Um, you could just put it on the AC, as you can see here. There's the ignition. You just put it on to the on position, so you don't have to start the vehicle. Just turn your key until it goes to that on position, and that's enough to um, do what we're doing here. All right, now to shift, make sure you put the brake on because you don't want the car to be moving while you're changing gears here. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, third, second, and first. Okay, everything looks good to me. At least the brake. Just turn the car off. Okay, now that we have everything put back together, we checked the, uh, make sure that the light worked, we made sure that the shifter worked. Um, now we're gonna actually put that first piece that we took off, this plastic piece, back on. Again, make sure, I believe it was this way. Another good thing maybe to do to make sure you have this oriented the right way is to maybe take some chalk, or maybe even a piece of tape and just mark which side you had uh, towards the front of the vehicle and which side you had towards the rear. Um, and I think I remember just seeing this mark here, so I think that's the back of the piece. And just slip it on over. And this is really simple. You just push this back on, like so. And there you go. Everything looks good as new. Light works. See it turning on and off with the headlights. Again, make sure you turn the headlights off uh, when you're not using them because you don't want your battery to drain. Okay, well, uh, we just finished changing the light bulb for the light indicator on an automatic transmission for a 2001 Pontiac Grand Am. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time. Good luck. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So good luck. See you later.